Welcome to Bizjet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli. I'm your aviation advisor, and today we're going to be talking about the return of the airships. So, a slightly different episode than usual. Instead of talking about planes this time, we're going to be talking about airships. A very interesting. Uh, we're talking about four different projects that are out there and the business applications uh, of the airships. And so, if you haven't subscribed to Bizjet TV, this channel is all about private aviation. I encourage you to subscribe and comment below. Give us a thumbs up. It helps to spread the word about Bizjet TV. So let's get straight into the return of the airships. Off we go. So people have decided to bring back the airship driven by the environment, driven by the fact that you know airships um, not only don't pollute the air, but also cost less to operate. So this is interesting. First project I'd like to talk about is Ocean Sky Cruises. It's a company in Sweden, and they're looking at doing cruises with these things. I think it'd be good for leisure, but also it could be interesting for conferences. You imagine having your company conference, instead of having it in a venue somewhere in Las Vegas, for example, you'd have it on one of these large airships going somewhere. Um, spend maybe two or three days or four days in the air, maybe going to the North Pole, which is one of the cruises they're suggesting, or even crossing the Atlantic. Uh, I can see certainly an application in the leisure market for this. The second project I'd like to talk about is Diri Solar. This is a project coming from France, um, and they're talking about uh, developing this um, uh, airship that uh, runs on solar energy. And this is an interesting one, and um, certainly very environmental friendly, and one we need to keep our eye on. The third project is Egan Airship from the United States, um, and they're talking more about you know commercial applications, military applications, uh, which is interesting. Uh, they can uh, carry, you know, 10 people uh, or one ton of cargo uh, across 1,300 miles. So lots of applications on this one. And then we've got the electric airship uh, transportation system in Canada, which is the fourth project. And they're talking about, you know, how infrastructure in part, in particular in the northern part of Canada, they haven't got many railways, airports and that. And because of the weather, uh, it's difficult to get things and move things. And they've got a lot of mines and things like that. So what they're thinking of doing is using uh, this type of airship to move cargo and people around, which I think is a very good idea. You just have to see what the Canadian government think about that. Uh, but, you know, certainly uh, with the airships, I think there's there are lots of applications business-wise. I mean, we're seeing drones now deliver cargo. Uh, why not let airships do that as well? And the airship doesn't necessarily always have to land. Uh, but, you know, I can see, you know, airships being used all throughout Africa. I can see them being used in northern parts of Canada and other parts of the world as well uh, as, as, you know, um, for leisure uh, and for business, as I said, and for transporting cargo. I think this is certainly a solution if we could create, you know, an electric solar version um, because some people are, you know, uh, have a thing about the hydrogen or the helium filled um, airships. So, you know, today with the technology we're developing uh, in solar and also with uh, the, the electric uh, cars and planes and that, uh, I'm sure now's the time, technology wise, to develop and go down that route. And certainly the airship is something I think is coming back now and is going to come back to stay. The only limitation the airship has, of course, is speed. But sometimes, you know, you don't want speed. I mean, there's still people today, instead of going on holiday traveling by air they go by cruise ship uh, and it takes you know five to six days to cross the Atlantic in a cruise ship instead of a few hours uh, by airplane so there are people that want to go fast but there are people that also may want to go slower enjoy the journey enjoy the company of the people um, and so I certainly see these type of applications for this I'd like to hear from you um, if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and also comment below let me know what you think about the airships it'd be great to have a conversation going here and that's all from Fabrizio Party on BizJet TV and I'll see you on the next one.